Doc, how's it going? Oh, hello, crewman. I'm doing pretty good. What can I do for you? There's like this strange lump on the right side of my neck and it's bothering me. Okay, and when did you notice this? Well, I was on the away team last week. You know the one to that strange planet with the weird fungus and the green skin singing women? Right. I think I might have missed that one. Anyway, get up here on the bed and I'll go get my tricorder and we'll take a look. Okay. Okay, crewman, let's see what's going on. Computing. Data. Dang it. One second. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Oh, hello, it's you again. What's the problem? Ah, uh, right. Broken tricorder. Hmm. Didn't you get that one fixed yet? Hey, this is a two-year mission. I was planning on getting some parts on Regal 17. This is going to get pretty annoying. Um, in any case, what's the problem, Doc? Um, let's see. Lump on the neck, recent exposure to alien fungus, and sirens. Ah, uh, that old one. I've seen that one before. You know what I would do here? <sighs> Go on. You're going to totally love this. It's called Physical Examination of the Neck. It's the latest thing from the 20th century. This is the same thing as the abdomen, right? Wait, I have to touch her neck, don't I? Gross. Um, isn't the patient our top priority here, Doctor? I really need to fix this baby so I can get back to 24th century medicine. Anyway, shouldn't we move on to the physical exam now? Show me the drill. Mobile hollow emitter activated. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we do is ensure adequate exposure. We should be able to see all of the neck quite well. We're going to inspect for obvious masses or asymmetry, and if present, comment on whether they're on the left or the right. The patient may have a history of smoking, so we want to examine the mouth by asking the patient to stick out their tongue and say, ah. Uh. We could use a tongue depressor if we need a better view. We'd also check inside the mouth, palpating for lumps or masses. We're going to ask the patient to move their neck from side to side, and from right to left, to ensure they have adequate range of motion in the neck. Next, we'll examine for lymph nodes in a sequential manner. We start behind the head with the occipital lymph nodes, then the posterior auricular lymph nodes behind the ears, then the pre-auricular lymph nodes here, tonsillar lymph nodes here, submedibular lymph nodes under the mandible, submental lymph nodes under the chin. Then we palpate the anterior cervical chain lymph nodes and the posterior chain lymph nodes. We'd also look at the supraclavicular lymph nodes and the infraclavicular lymph nodes down here. The next part of the examination involves assessing and palpating the thyroid gland. This is in the lower part of the neck over the cricoid cartilage. We'll palpate for any nodules or masses. We'll get the patient to swallow because the gland moves upward with swallowing. There it is. And if we find any nodules, we comment on their shape, their consistency, their mobility and any tenderness. To finish off our palpation, we'll palpate to determine if the trachea is in the midline as a neck mass may cause deviation. To finish off now, uh, we'll test the spinal accessory nerve by getting the patient to shrug their shoulders up and to turn their neck from side to side again. The last thing we might do is to listen to carotid bruise with a stethoscope. And that, doctor, is how we do a physical examination of the neck. Well, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, for you, maybe. Hmm. You're fine, crewman. You can get back to work. Maybe stay away from those green-skinned women next time. So, what have we learned, Starfleet trainees? Don't waste emergency medical hologram resources. Always make sure your tricorder is working and perform regular tricorder maintenance. If you have to, you can perform a physical examination of the neck. Remember the steps. Tell the crew member what's going to happen before you do the exam. Preserve crew member dignity. Start by exposing the neck appropriately so you can see all of it and then inspect the neck 
Ask the patient to stick out their tongue and look inside the mouth. Then ask them to move their neck and then you can palpate for lymph nodes and for the thyroid gland. This concludes this training video for Starfleet Academy.